hey lovelies welcome back to my channel how are you guys doing i'm super excited about this new week because i've done a lot of useful research for my youtube family that they can take advantage of we are going to be presenting to you guys a fully funded opportunity for international applicants from all over the world i know a lot of international students have dreams of studying abroad right but most of the challenges they face have to do with finances of how to fund their dreams you guys know that there are a lot of opportunities out there for international students and they can take advantage of them to actualize their dreams one of the decisions i took this year regarding my youtube family is to keep researching for fully funded opportunities across different countries where you don't have to pay tuition definitely one of many applications will be successful i strongly believe it i don't know about you nevertheless in this video guys we are going to be sharing with you guys a fully funded opportunity without an IELTS test score, no age limit, and your family can move with you. But keep in mind that the funding does not cover your family members. Of course, your family can travel with you if you are accepted, but you will have to take care of their expenses. Let's talk about the benefits. It covers your tuition fees, living allowance, or a stipend. They will take care of your accommodation expenses, textbooks, other study materials, is a fully funded scholarship. We are going to be walking you through the step-by-step -step process of applying. I will display the direct link on the screen. And if you're watching me for the first time, you're welcome. My name is Ami. Kindly subscribe to join my community. Please share this video with your friends who are interested in studying abroad and keep watching. Hello guys, welcome to Immigrate with Ami and we're going to be talking about a fully funded opportunity that citizens of all countries can apply for. Okay, and before we go into the details, we're going to start by telling you guys what are the financial support that you would receive if you are accepted for this fully funded opportunity. So first you can receive funding for up to three years to complete your educational program and during each of the first three years of your study as a recipient of this scholarship you are going to receive several types of funding and i'm and i'll start by listing them right here okay you would receive a fellowship which is applied directly to cover tuition and associated fees so tuition and other academic fees will be covered as part of this scholarship funding you will also receive a stipend for living and academic expenses such as room and board books academic supplies instructional materials local transportation and reasonable personal expenses the third one is you would receive a travel stipend intended to cover an economic class ticket for one annual trip okay so from you know the location back to your home country in case you need to go annually maybe for a visit back home you would receive a stipend to cover the economy class ticket for that trip depending on the year that you are in in your program you can also obtain some additional specific funding okay so if you are a new enrolling scholar you are going to receive a one-time relocation stipend intended to offset some of the costs associated with relocation to the area or technology purchases so if you buy maybe a laptop or some other technology tools that you would need in the course of your you know academic program then you can use this one-time relocation stipend to cover that or to cover some of the expenses that you incur in the initial stage of relocation if you're in your second and third years, you may also apply for supplemental funds to support academic enrichment activities. So, for example, if you travel for a conference or a seminar, you can apply for funding to also cover all of this as well. So, guys, we are talking about the Stanford University Knight Hennessy Scholars, okay, which is like a fully funded opportunity for graduate programs at Stanford 
University. So this ninth Hennessy's scholars cultivates and support a multidisciplinary and multicultural community of graduate students from across Stanford University and delivers engaging experiences that prepare graduates to be visionary, courageous, and collaborative leaders who address complex challenges facing the world. You can find more information on their homepage about you know what is their vision their mission what they do in terms of you know leadership development and what they do in terms of the community that they are currently building okay but for you as an applicant i will focus more on the information that you need that can help you determine if this is a good opportunity for you but i think it's actually a good opportunity for anyone who is looking for funding for graduate program so we already spoke about the financial support okay and i listed all of the different types of financial support that you would receive i listed them and you can find it here on the funding page okay so tuition is covered other associated fees is covered as well you are going to get a stipend for living and academic expenses so your room your feeding your books your academic supplies instructional materials local transportation and you will also be able to cover some reasonable personal expenses as well okay now if you are traveling from your home country to stanford and then or you are traveling at the end of the academic year for holidays you are also able to receive a travel stipend to cover the cost of your transport as a new student who will be enrolling in stanford university if you do receive this funding you are going to also receive an additional one-time relocation stipend if you are in your second and third years you can also apply for some supplemental fund to cover or to support academic enrichment services or activities like conference travel like seminars you know and other activities that might require some form of financial commitment okay so let's move on straight to the eligibility criteria so to start with the night hennessy scholars has no restrictions based on age college or university field of study or career aspiration so you can actually use that scholarship for any course of study all right um you can use it again regardless of your current age all right and they also encourage citizens and residents of all countries to apply so they don't require applicants to seek endorsements from colleges from universities or other institutions and there are also no quotas by discipline or program so it's like an open opportunity that anyone who is qualified can apply for all right they have like two baseline eligibility requirement which we're going to talk about the first one is that you need to be accepted into a graduate program at stanford university since this is a fully funded opportunity that you would need to use for a specific study program okay so you would need to apply separately for a graduate program at stanford university okay so it's either you are applying separately for a study program you have already been offered admissions or you're a current stanford graduate student okay so one of those conditions must be met the second eligibility criteria has to do with how old your undergraduate degree is okay so you must have earned in january 2018 or later a u.s bachelor's degree or its equivalent from a college or university of recognized standing what that means is that since this is for a graduate program you need to have already had a bachelor's degree and that bachelor's degree must have been gotten not earlier than january 2018 so imagine that you completed your bachelor's in september or november or even december 2017 then you are not eligible to apply for this so it's only for people who completed their bachelor's program from january 2018 or after if you have served in the military okay so they are going to extend the eligibility window by two years in acknowledgement of your service commitment so that means that if you served in the military they will accept you to apply for this program if you finished your first degree or your undergraduate degree from january 2016 and 
upwards okay so those are the you know two conditions they also have a frequently asked questions that you can always go through to see the answers to so many other questions that you might have okay now since this is also connected to a graduate study at stanford university what that means is that you also need to meet the minimum education requirement for you to be able to apply to or be enrolled in a graduate program at stanford university you need to meet the university's minimum requirement for academic credentials and also for english proficiency okay in terms of the country of origin so if you study in any country in africa you need to have a four-year bachelor's degree with honors and you can see for the other parts of the world the equivalent that you need to have before you can apply for this program when it comes to english proficiency if your first language is english then you are actually exempt from writing any of the standardized tests but if your first language is not english then you are required to take the test of english as a foreign language TOEFL internet based test before your program's application deadline so what are the application requirements what do you need to get together if you are interested in applying for this fully funded opportunity you would need to apply online and of course i'm going to show you the online application you would need to provide your resume and each of this um and each of these points or each of these requirements has a link so if you click on that link you can see the full information regarding how those you know document or requirement should be gathered together so if you are talking about resume what should be included in your resume if you are talking about recommendation letters how do you submit it if you are talking about short answers and essay what should be the content of those essays if you are talking about transcript and test scores how should your transcript be submitted are there other test scores that you would need to provide as well so you will find all of those full information right here on the khs application requirement okay so you would need to you know submit online provide your resume you would need to provide transcript and then if applicable some test score for example those whose first language is not english would need to write the TOEFL internet based test to be able to qualify for this fully funded opportunity you also need to provide recommendation letters okay how to submit it and how many reference letters you need you can find that on the link for recommendation letter and then you would need to provide some answers to some questions and at the same time submit an essay as well okay so there are a lot of different links that can help provide information and guidance to support you in the course of your application for this fully funded opportunity let's move on now to the frequently asked questions and they have those questions under different headings or subheadings for example with respect to the eligibility there are some questions here and the answers as well that can guide you all right and then once you leave there you can move to the transcript and the test scores and then you can find common questions under that category and the answers they have provided if you also move to the recommendation letters you can also see some of the questions and the definite answers to those questions right here as well okay for the essay as well there are some information here with respect to answers to questions for the video statement for the immersion weekend you know for regarding you will find answers actually to any question that you might have okay in the course of your preparation to submit your application for this fully funded opportunity okay now if you are ready to apply this is the application link right here you can see here that the application for the 2025 cohort is now open and you know you can see two types of users we have returning users and first time users if you're a first time user you would need to create an account and they need your email address your first name your last name and your birth date okay to start the process of registering for an account so let's take a look at the application deadline before we conclude this video okay so the application is currently on so you can actually submit your applications today if you have all of the requirement but the deadline for this application is october 9th 2024 1 p.m pacific 
time okay so either you're an international student or you're a student in the united states all categories of applicant have the same deadline okay so make sure you submit your application before october 9 2024 okay so guys we've been talking about this ninth hennessy scholars opportunity which is a fully funded where all of the cost of your study all of your personal expenses your accommodation your feeding transport is actually generously covered by this scholarship fund all right so we encourage you to submit your application and of course we wish you all the best as you submit your application thank you guys and have a lovely day